let's get more now on how people are reacting to what has unfolded uh, in Egypt and across the Middle East. Let's go live to the world's newsroom uh, with Lucas de Jong, who is there for us. Lucas. Well, hello, John. We're here in the Weather Centre because we're talking a little bit about the reaction to this Morsi trial around Egypt, outside of Cairo, and also around the Middle East and the wider region as well. To highlight some of those points, I'm joined by two guests, Mohammed Al Said from the BBC's Arabic service and Samantha Barry, our social media producer. Mohammed, let's start with you, and we'll bring the map up for this because Cairo has been where the focus is, but there's been a lot of action outside, hasn't there? Yeah, exactly. Cairo is the main site of events Actually, we have seen thousands of uh, Muslim Brotherhood supporters uh, demonstrating in front of the Supreme Constitutional Court in Maadi district. In Alexandria as well, we have, we have seen thousands of demonstrators uh, clashing with police and anti mosi people in Alexandria. And in Asyut University, we have seen students uh, demonstrating against the Morsi trial, and the police have stormed the university to end their protest. And in Ismailia, we have seen uh, an army officer shot dead uh, in relation to the trial. Excellent. We'll, we'll do a little shuffle around now. Sam, if we can bring you next to the screen to talk about this and do a little bit of an explanation, because these are all the words that have been featuring on social media about this trial. So this trial has been playing quite big on social media, not just in Egypt, but around the region. It's been trending. Morsi hashtags and those related to the Morsi trial have been trending in the Palestinian territories, in Jordan, in Tunisia, and obviously in Egypt. And this is a bit of a snapshot of what people on BBC World News' Facebook page are talking about. Um, you know, you've got your prominent words there, Morsi Muhammad Muslim, but some of the interesting threads of conversation come from the words like power, situation, government, where people are asking what happens next in Egypt. Excellent. And, and on that point, it's probably worth to bring up this picture. Mohammed, tell us a little bit about this symbol, because we're seeing it everywhere at the moment. Yeah, Rabah symbol started after the um, ending of the protest of the Muslim Brotherhood in front of the Rabah Ladawiya Mosque in August in Eastern Cairo. And since then, uh, this sign has been used by all, uh, in all demonstrations of the Muslim Brotherhood inside Egypt and outside it. Yeah, the sign has really strong currency amongst Islamist community around the world. You have the Turkish Prime Minister has been pictured with the sign. Um, and you've got people all over the world changing their avatars uh, on Twitter and their profile picture on Facebook to this sign. And it's very contentious, in particular in Egypt. There was a case last week where an Egyptian Kung Fu champion was accepting a gold medal in Russia and he wore this t-shirt, t-shirt with this sign, and he's since been suspended. Excellent. Well, last picture. Thank you very much, both of you, for joining me today. We're going to end on this one, John. This is a street vendor selling both El Sisi tags and Mohammed Morsi tags outside the court in Cairo as well. And that just goes to show how divided this country is. But how there's always an opportunity to make money as well, Lucas. Got to make cash when you can. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Thank you very much indeed uh, for that. Lucas Dion there in the World uh, Newsroom.